Christus hast wat mir, mach wann pas mach kochetet. Mina tiser po, jer or du terem, para vora kitzen tor, jer ser po koin getoz mir. Mi at in vorti, je van das twat, je van mahe utjum. Vor hans narrer marm nanal, iser po vas twat zat nen, je hevi misht kusen. An po po gelit mart je gyal, kachetar Christos as twat mer, mah van pas mah kochetet. Mina ti serpo jer or tu terem, para vora kitzen tor jer serpo koin getoz me. Mi at in vorti je van das twat, je van mahe utjum. Vor hans narrer marm nanal, i serpo vas twat zat nen, je hevi misht kusen. An popo gelit mart je gyal, kachetar Christos as twat mer, mah van pas mah kochetet. Mina ti serpo jer or tu terem, para vora kitzen tor, jer serpo koin getoz mer. Mi at in vorti je van das twat, je van mahe utjum. Vor hans narrer marm nanal, i serpo vas twat zat nen, je hevi misht kusen. An popo gelit mart je gyal, kachetar Christos as twat mer, mah van pas mah kochetet. Mina ti serpo jer or tu terem, para vora kitzen tor jer serpo koin getoz me. Mi at in vorti je van das twat, je van mahe utjum. Vor hans narrer marm nanal, i serpo vas twat zat nen, je hevi misht kusen. An popo gelit mart je gyal, kachetar Christos as twat mer, mah van pas mah kochetet. Mina ti serpo jer or tu terem, para vora kitzen tor, jer serpo koin getoz mer. Mi at in vorti je van das twat, je van mahe utjum. Vor hans narrer marm nanal, i serpo vas twat zat nen, je hevi misht kusen. An popo gelit mart je gyal, kachetar Christos as twat mer, mah van pas mah kochetet.
whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for them is that they may be saved. I can testify that they, can, they have a zeal for God, but it is not enlightened. For being ignorant of the righteousness that comes from God and seeking to establish their own, they haven't submitted to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ according to Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 30. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No, for in gathering the wheat, you, may, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in a bundle to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn.
կատարում են օրինանց եւ մարկարից դու ես Քրիստոս աստված փրկիչ մեր որ լսեր ամենայն հայրական տնօրենությունը սկո լից եւս մեզ հոգովը փող սրփող հանուն հոր եւ օրթո եւ հոգույն սրփո ամեն Once there was an elderly and wise man who moved to a village and began living there for a while. He would always spend his time with the kids of the village and everyone loved him dearly. He also used to give gifts to the give to the kids of the village. The gifts were always very exquisite but fragile. As much as the kids were striving to be careful with the gifts, they always ended up breaking them and ended up in tears. Every time the children broke their toys, the old man gave them a new one, a toy more fragile and more beautiful. Once the parents of the children wanted to know the purpose of this and asked the old man, saying, You are a wise man and you always want everyone to be happy. Why then you give fragile gifts to our children and every time when they break them you give them even more beautiful and fragile ones. Unfortunately, it is impossible not to play with those gifts because of their uniqueness. The wise man responded saying, not so many years will pass from today and your children will understand that god endowed them with spiritual purity and a fragile soul i want them to understand how easy it might be to fall into sin and lose the purity god gives us in today's gospel reading christ tells us that the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seeds in his field 
But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. Today's parable is about the two kinds of people in the world. Jesus explained that the landowner was an illustration of the Son of Man, that is, the divine King. We know Son of Man was a title that Jesus often used for himself. The field is the world, it belongs to the sun, and was originally meant to be a place for the flourishing of God's beloved mankind. The good seed that Jesus Christ sows are the sons of the kingdom, while the, seed, while the weeds are the sons of the evil one. In these two examples, the, son, the word son is used to describe someone who reflects the characteristics of what they are called the son of either the son of the kingdom of heaven or the son of the evil one. The harvest is the judgment of mankind at the end of the age. The reapers are the angels sent by God to bring both kinds of people before his judgment seat. There the sons of the evil one will be condemned to hell, but the sons of the kingdom will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. In today's reading, Jesus simply begins with the two kinds of people. The son of God plants his children throughout the world, and the evil one does the same with those that belong to him in order to cause trouble. We often wonder why God allows evil people to thrive in the world. This parable teaches us that God does not root them out because he is concerned for his followers and their spiritual well-being. But instead, he allows both kinds of people to continue until the judgment at the end of the world. Only then, he will finally separate them. At that time, those who are not his children will be cast into a furnace of fire, a terrible place of great weeping. But the other group of people, those who belong to God, will be recognized as sons of the kingdom of heaven. Nevertheless, the teaching of today's parable is of the great, greatest importance. Much of the world lies in the grip of the evil one, and their condition is hidden even from themselves. Therefore, God has called his servants to another task, another duty, to show compassion and love to all, especially to all those who call themselves Christians. We are sent out with a message of hope to a dying world, to a world that very soon may be approaching the end of the age. That message that God loves all men, no matter to which of the groups we may belong. He became a man, Jesus Christ, to die for all of our sins so that if we gratefully accept his sacrifice on our behalf, we will find ourselves in that blessed group, which in the end of time will shine like the sun in the kingdom of our Father. In today's story, we see that the old man used to give to the children of the village very exquisite but yet fragile gifts. Whenever they broke them, he gave them newer, more beautiful ones. In the same way, God sows in us purity, love, hope, compassion, and other virtues as well. He wants to see that we cherish those virtues and reach spiritual purity. And we'll lose them each time we fall into sin, but God has also given us the choice to repent and attain those virtues once again. And when he restores those virtues for us, we are renewed. We become renewed again with his love. We become renewed again with his compassion. And we become renewed again with his purity. All these things are fragile, delicate, precious gifts. And we have the sacred task to not just use them for ourselves, 
but for each other, so we may bring that love and purity, that compassion and empathy back into our world, which is in desperate need of them. Amen. Միացին որդի եվ անդաստված եվ անմահեղություն, որ հանց նարեր մարմնանալ, իսր բովո աստվածացնեն եվ 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 իշտ կուսեն, անպապոխել իտ մարդ եղյալ, խաչեցար Քրիստոս աստված մեր, մահ վամպս մահ կող Մինը տիսրպո երորդ ու թեր են, հարավորակից ընդոր և սրպո խոյն կեցոս մեր։ Միացին որդի եվ անդաստված եվ անմահեղություն, որ հանց նարեր մարմնանալ, իսրպովո աստվածացնեն եվ իմ իշտ կուսեն։ Անպապոխել իտ մարդ եղյալ, խաչեցար Քրիստոս աստված մեր, մահվանպս մահ կողեց էր, մինը տիսրպո երորդ ու թեր են, հարավորակից ընդոր և սրպո խոյն կեցոս մեր։ Միացին որդի եվ անդաստված եվ անմահեղություն, 
որ հանց նարեր մարմնանալ, իծ էր բով աստվածածնեն եվ իմիշտ կուսեն, անպապոխել իտ մարդ եղյալ, խաչեցար Քրիստոս աստվածներ, մահվան պս մահ կոխեցեր, մինը տիսեր բո երորդ ու թերեն, պարավորակից ընդոր և սրպոխոյն գեցոզմեր։